Today is Millionaire Monday, and it all starts right now. Chess is a very international game. You always get players from all different countries. We have Wesley So here, who's number 11 in the world, who took the risk you know, to come here and compete for that $100,000 first place prize. Grandmaster Wesley So from the Philippines versus Timo Garev. If he wins this, he is 100% through to Millionaire Monday. He doesn't have to play the playoffs tonight. Chess is two people who are in stylized conflict brought together through a very, very constrained system. That's as good an example of a playful system as, as exists. There's no human alive who can really give the proper scrutiny to every game that the player has played up until this moment, exactly what is happening in this moment, and everything that could happen. You can't understand chess by just watching it. It's all about the presentation. You need commentators who understand what's going on. You need technology that can give the commentators help to really break down the action. Then you need to marry that really well in such a way that the fans will be excited and it's really basic and simple. The name of this project, Deep View, is a play on Deep Blue, the software that famously beat chess world champion Gary Kasparov in the late 90s. We're using data and algorithms to understand human activity and to communicate it to other humans. And that's really what we're doing here. One of the challenges in broadcasting is, is that there's a lot going on at once, and part of what DeepView can do is direct our attention to the right place. Computers are really, really good at finding patterns. DeepView is looking at all the tables and says, like, this is what's interesting right now, table 14. It can bring our attention backstage to table 14, like White's likelihood to win just changed by 35%. What is happening over there? Can we build a kind of prosthetic understanding of what's happening such that even somebody who doesn't have Maurice's gifts as a commentator could tell better stories about what's happening? Oh yeah, I'm seeing now 100% for so. If the computer's seeing 100%, that means it's finding multiple paths to checkmate. That game's all but over. I'm fully confident that Wesley So is going to win this game. He'll be our first qualifier in the open section I'm 100% certain of that. If you know your, the preference of your opponent in the kind of a hard line statistical way, it definitely will help going forward to say, you know, I've seen these games, it looks like they like to be aggressive, but now I see the stats and, well, they're not as aggressive as I thought. Greg's work actually really helps paint that full picture. He has helped us get these diagrams of how, how players like to play. Those models really help demonstrate who likes what and who really doesn't like what. It's a strategical tool that could be used to help players to prepare against other players. Sometimes the profiles that come up might even surprise you. That's game over. Queen takes d2 and force checkmate. The computational math that helps us to guess percentages, to break down the styles of players, that's been really interesting because it absolutely helps to tell the story better. It's going to have a huge impact on how people prepare for their opponents. The trends and changes and strategies that people play, they invent new ways of approaching the game. And also people help them prepare for themselves, to train, to learn more about themselves as chess players. This really was the first test of the system, and we've learned a ton by seeing it get used here live for this week. It's not too hard to imagine five years from now, chess looking like poker. You know, having this really dramatic television presentation that uses numbers to tell the story of this intellectual combat. 